Hi everybody, uh, I'm Danielle Giorgio, I'm a resident here at Central Track, and this is Marin Lucas, she's a visiting artist here in town from New York and Portland. Um, so, you came to Central Track for how long? I came for three weeks, which I'm now starting to realize is a short residency for Central Track. However, I think I made probably three months worth of work in my three weeks. I made it count. And you'll be going back to New York? I go back to New York. And I was invited specifically to, I think other artists apply for residencies to come here and make their own work and do their own process and get to know the Dallas art scene. I was specifically invited to be a part of this OT show as part of Circle Work, the Artist Collective. So my residency, I think, is kind of a unique situation, much like Paul Swallow. Mm -hmm. It's like NPJ over Paul. It's like we came specifically to work on something, but we were able to not only make the project for the OT show, but we were also able to make personal work, which is a huge accomplishment in three weeks. Um, have you ever been to Texas or, well, I guess Texas first. I've been to Austin for four days. I think I had a sense of everyone and everyone's business in three days. Um, but I have no real like knowledge of Texas. I've heard like Houston is the art mecca, Austin is where the music happens, and I knew nothing about Dallas except for like the TV show from the 80s, and that was it. Like Dallas Cowboy Cheerleaders, that was my only references. Um, but I'm pleasantly surprised because it's so obvious to me that there is a lot of potential in Dallas and that the art scene is really starting to come together, um, that there is support for artists, that there's actual spaces and interesting projects happening. But I feel like to be able to kind of um, get in on the Dallas art scene in this kind of like very fertile period is like really important. So what were your expectations of Central Track? I'm pretty focused, so I knew for myself that I would come here and hunker down and work till six in the morning every day. I was just hoping to be able to make my project here, which was film and video based and with photography stills. And I was hoping to make a little bit of personal work of like portraits of artists and some nudes and pinups for other series of men and women. So I was pretty sure I'd be able to like make that happen, but it's exceeded my expectations entirely. And so now that you've been here for three weeks and able to do that amount of work, what's your perception of Central Track? It's magic. <laughs> it's, ma it's a magical place. Um, to have a huge studio that you don't feel claustrophobic in, that you can just pull up in for days and, and make as much work as you need to, but that if you need to walk out and interact with other human beings, <laughs> find other resources, there's so much nearby Central Track. Um, just like locations and resources, and then having the gallery, it's a huge professional, it's a very professional looking gallery. Yeah. So I didn't, I expected more um, non-profit community style space, which would have been totally fine, but it's absolutely like, you know, it's associated with UTD, it's, it's far more formal than I thought it would be, but the atmosphere isn't so formal that you can't just enjoy yourself and make the work you want to make ultimate freedom here. Could you talk a little bit more about the project that you were working on when you were here, for Circle Work specifically? Um, the, o the OT show references the Old Testament, which I had no previous knowledge of. Um, you know, being raised in Portland, Oregon with kind of like somewhat, you know, atheistic kind of hippie parents. I had no point of reference for that work, so I was a little intimidated because I found out kind of last minute, like I knew what I wanted to do here, and then I found out oh, it's about the Old Testament. Um, that was a little intimidating. However, the project I wanted to do here absolutely fit in with that reference. So I chose to use Sodom and Gomorrah, which are cities that are associated with sin and lack of morals, um, and I wanted to make a piece in video and in photography that sort of reclaimed all the negative associations that we have with Sodom and Gomorrah. So we wanted to make a piece that was very beautiful, very sensual, that didn't hold back from intimacy. Um, and it's a huge blessing to be able to come to Central Track and be told, oh, you can build whatever you need to. We have a set, we have lighting, right? you know, I painted this green screen for my project. 
and I was able to do completely new, um, totally new things. Like I normally don't shoot on location. I shoot on location, but I don't shoot in the studio in a controlled setting. I'm used to variables of weather, people, permits, um, you know, crazy things happening on set that I can't control. So to be able to work in like a beautiful gallery, be given tons of resources, being able to do whatever I want it was kind of uh, unique. And I think it was a success. I think so too. Because <laughs> I was in the project. She was in the project. Um, I think it turned out beautifully. Well, I feel what like it achieved what, what I wanted. I yeah. feel like it achieved what I was trying to do. And then on my way here, I was able to shoot the B-roll footage that's going to go on the green screen mm -hmm. in Salt Lake. And I was able to shoot these like very beautiful abstract um, photographs of Salt Lake the Great Salt Lake right. and the landscape, which totally relates to Sodom and Gomorrah. They had salt mines, and I wanted to use milk and salt and the palette of white to surround the, you know, the talent in the piece. And so I feel like it was a success. Yeah. Do you think you'll come back to Dallas? Absolutely. <laughs> Dallas is not going to get rid of me. Um, I really want to come back and make a much larger show with my sculpture. Mm -hmm an installation art with the Eco Baroque work. I hear that there's a mineral museum opening in a year or two. I found out tonight already. I would like to be able to show there. I, would I mean, I would love to show, I'm happy to show either in Central Track, mm -hmm. a formal gallery, a non-profit space, a museum space, like, but I really want to come back and do really elaborate works. So, I'll be back. We'll put a good word in for you. Um, did you meet anybody remarkable while you were here? Uh, everybody in this building, <laughs> the residents. I mean, I have my eye definitely on Hilly. Hi. Back <laughs> and, and Danielle. Um, I want to steal you to New York, and if I can curate you guys any way possible into projects, I will. Um, Gideon's raising her eyebrows back there. <laughs> Getting to know Hyde further was great. I was already familiar with his work as an artist, but I don't know him in the sort of director curatorial sense, so getting to see him in that role was great. Um, the professor that you introduced me to tonight, Frederick. Oh, uh, Fred Turner. Yes, yeah. Fred Turner and I, I think we have some master plans to take oh, over goodness. the world. <laughs> some major things happen tonight. Um, I feel like I've met a lot of, oh, Julie Webb, Waxahachie. Uh -huh her gallery, um, folk art gallery, I just feel like I got an amazing, I feel very blessed that like my impression of Dallas is so different than most people who would pass through here as a tourist. I got to meet all the right people, all the right resources, I got to speak at you know, UT Dallas um, for a couple of classes, I got to speak here, I got to speak at SMU, mm -hmm. so I feel like I'm getting like this crazy cross-section that would never happen if I came here for two weeks or three weeks on my own. I could yeah. never meet those people outside of Central Track. Do you think you'll be keeping in touch with the people that you met? Absolutely, I'm good that way. And I do plan on finishing my video, cutting it together, submitting it back to Central Track, and you know, giving that kind of as a final piece to Central Track, something mm -hmm. I made here, and I would, I would come back in a heartbeat. Thank you so much. Thank you. It was great thank having you here. No, thank you. I mean, you guys made me Look good. I have like fantastic talent on all my projects. Great. Thank you guys so much. Bye. I said rolling. I didn't say action. <laughs> That's what it means. Okay. Rolling then action. Okay. Rolling. Action. <laughs>